Hello. Today we will be making some copycat dots pretzels. So if you want to know how to make copycat version of dots pretzels, please stay tuned. Okay. For this recipe, we are going to need the braided pretzel, which I've got here, a whole package of ranch um, dip mix, um, you'll need dill weed, you'll need lemon pepper seasoning. You'll need garlic powder. Um, cayenne pepper. Um, I've added this myself. Don't know if you really need it, but I really like the taste of butter. Um, popcorn butter seasoning because you're supposed to have popcorn butter oil in the recipe but I have sub substituted that with this and a half a stick of butter so that's what I done um, so what you do is you melt your half a stick of butter which I've done in this bag um, then you measure all of your dry ingredients and put them in your bag. So we're gonna leave the pretzels out of the way. And we can put the bag here. So kind of level them out because that oil will level it out for you. Have like a lower you down where you can see what's going on here. See so you can kind of make it stand up by itself. So, first ingredient is the dill weed. And we need a whole tablespoon of dill weed. So, that's a whole tablespoon of dill weed going in there. Then you need garlic powder. And you need two tablespoons of this. One. And two. And then you put the whole pack of ranch dressing mix in. Then a tablespoon of the lemon. Then I'm just going to put a dash of the, like maybe, maybe a teaspoon's worth of the popcorn butter flavored seasoning, and then a half of a tablespoon of the cayenne red pepper. Just to get a little kick. And then you take and you mix all of that really 
really good together before you put the pretzels in there because you don't want just one season to be imminent so you squeeze it up really good while all seasonings are mixed together This actually tastes like the original. It kind of smells like it. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna get one with a lot of coating. Oh my goodness. That actually does kind of taste like those pretzels. These actually do kind of taste like the original. That's pretty good, actually. So, I'll let these kind of chill in the seasoning for about an hour or two. Let it kind of dry on them. And we'll have our own homemade dots pretzels because that does taste like dots pretzels not gonna lie but anyway if you want to try this recipe or if you do try this recipe please let me know down in the comments um i will put the actual recipe that i use and with my own spin on it in the comments down below so if you use it use it and like these pretzels please do let me know in the comments down below and i will see you all in the next video please be kind to one another enjoy your day don't just enjoy your day if you're new here please do click that big red button turn it gray and become a kitten today because we always love to see new kittens join the kitten fam and if you do subscribe please let me know in the comments down below where i know we've got a new family member and i will see you all in the next video be safe out there i love you all very very much Bye bye